What's new in XDM Server in Expedition Enterprise VX 1.1? In this video, for those of you who are familiar with the EEVX.1, I would like to share the changes that this release brings with regards to the utilities of the XDM Server. Those include changes in the directory structure, we modified the input XML file structure to make it easier on you to manage it. Moreover, we added new utilities. Most noticeable is the Configuration Manager utility that provides a unique web editor to manage the configuration and eliminate the need to manually edit the input XML file. For most of the utilities, we managed to improve the performance. Those improvements, together with several bug fixes, will make your experience with the XDM server and the utilities much better. The SUT directory is now located under SDD Home as part of the Expedition Enterprise VX1.1 directory. It used to be on parallel to the EEVX.1 directory, but now the SUT directory is part of the release and under the SDD Home. As a result, the install directory, XDM Server Install Deer, is no longer required within the XDM Server configuration. However, if you keep it within your file, you must adjust it to reference the VX1.1 install location. Please note that we no longer be supporting relative path within the input XML file which used to be based on the location of the SUT directory. We will trap if we detect relative path being used and request the user to replace them with absolute paths. In future releases, we will soften this by supporting environment variable within the path, but for EEVX 1.1, we are going with absolute paths only for configuration. We reorganize the deployment option. You now have two options, either automatic or manual. By default, you would like to use the automatic deployment, which will deploy the MGC MDS daemon automatically during server deploy. You still have the option to define a specific user instead of the default MGC server user to be utilized by the XDM server for the application server, embedded database, and any other process or service started by the utilities. Customers who require more flexibility might want to set the MGC MDS service establishment to manual. This means that they should manually deploy the MGC MDS daemon with any user that they choose to and even with a non-root user for those running on Linux. With this change, the argument non-root will no longer be needed for deployment utilities such as server deploy, server restart, etc. We hope that the description in the input XML is now more straightforward. For example, look at the new structure of the domain-specific settings in here. It's not the only change. The input XML has been significantly reorganized. The main reason was to improve the user experience when working within the input XML and to improve the organization to be easier to understanding along with some of the keyword naming adjustments. I will scan those changes, but first I would like to remind you that you can use the config input XML update utility to migrate an XML from previous version into the latest version. I simply run the utility with the location of the file I would like to upgrade, and I'm ready. Remember that if you had comments in your XML, those will not be maintained during the migration process. Moreover, if you choose to use an old version of the XML, that is also fine. During config import process, we will trigger off the version of the input XML and know how to manage adjusting the input to align with the changes overall. The change will be transparent and not require any manual modification of your input XML file. Let's review the main changes in the structure of the XML file. As mentioned, we simplified the deployment options. It now supports either automatic or manual deployment, as we explained earlier. 
we established a new SSL config section and removal of the information from the system server section. On the same time, we shifted the web SSL port to the server port configuration section. It will now be auto-assigned like the rest of the XDM server ports. We established a new database section in which you either provide a beta database or Oracle server configuration information. Before, you could have both embedded database and Oracle section, and in that case, implicitly, Oracle would be used. As a result, config remove does not support dash embedded or dash Oracle, and the only options are dash all, dash LDAP, and dash SMTP. We made the max num concurrent client apps field only accept values 1, 10, 20, 50, or 100. Whatever they currently had, we rounded up to the next allowed number. So 23 turned into 50, and anything above 100 turned into 100. As we introduce new configurations, for higher counts, we will expand the settings. We relabeled num of client accessing system server to max num concurrent client apps. We are no longer requiring largest design size if XDM design is not installed. Embedded database section. We removed the DB language field and shifted the data dir field into here from the system server section. The name field was removed from the vault configuration and the database sections. We simplified the tags element supporting the SSL config certificate info section depending on their input type. We created a subsection for all the data directories in the system server section, while still supporting the flexibility for customers wishes to customize specific directories, even not as a subdirectory to the XDM server data directory. As a result of all those changes, you can find all the sample input XML files adjusted. Moreover, we created a couple of new ones to your benefit. New utilities. New shortcuts were added to the Start menu. You will find shortcuts to the Diagnostic Dashboard, Utilities Console, and the User's Guide, as well as the new Configuration Manager utility. In EEVX 1.1, we introduce a new Configuration Manager utility. The Configuration Manager utility provides a simple editing of the XDM server configuration. It enables modification of the same settings that are contained in the input XML file. This utility provides on-the-fly checking, documentation, and test capabilities, as well as the option to import or export the XDM server configuration. In the Server Actions bar, the Configuration Manager also provides an option to launch several server actions, such as Server Deploy and Server Update. Those options will be available based on the status of the XDM server and your pending configuration. You are welcome to view the video dedicated for the Configuration Manager. Let me switch to the Diagnostic Dashboard. You will find a similar Smart Server Actions bar also here. Under Alert Settings, we added the option to modify the time interval for all the available alerts. You can now enable or disable an alert, as well as adjust the check time. Under Diagnostic Settings, we added an option to opt in to the automatic update of the Troubleshooter database from Mento website. In addition to the Diag Pre-Deploy test, we are now supporting Diag Pre-Update test. You can guess that this utility is used to pre-test your pending configuration such as SMTP, LDAP, Oracle, License, and or security configuration, as well as other environmental checks before running the server update utility. While in the past we only supported full server update, we now added the option to update only the configurations by using the server config update utility. Here is the list of the configurations that can be updated using the server config update utility. 
Diag Collect Logs will show steps, progress, and an in progress icon so you now know it is not stuck. We added support for Java 8 in the client prep utility. Enhancement to our lock and recovery system around the XDM server configuration database. This eliminates the short term need for config repair utility. You will notice a boost in the performance of many of the utilities. Improving performance, together with bug fixes and other enhancements, is something that we will continue doing with future releases as well. To summarize, you can see that we are investing to simplify the usage of the utilities. Based on feedback we get from our customers, we are making measurable modifications to make it easier on you to use the utilities to improve the user experience so that you will successfully manage your XDM server.